this. How do you read over? APQ, this is OR4 ISS. How do you read over? Maybe loud and clear as well, over. Challenging part for most astronauts and cosmonauts is just the separation from their families. Over. We're really only about 400 kilometers closer to the moon. At, at you know when we're in between the Earth and the moon, so we're not really that much closer because the moon is 250,000 miles away from the Earth. So it is spectacular from up here because we don't have the light pollution and other pollutions from the Earth. Uh, so it's a little more clear. Over. We have Velcro on almost everything, including our food packets, so that's one way to stick it on. We also have tape that we use, and we put tape all over our table to be able to stick things onto that over. Well, that's a great question. Uh, we've been fortunate on our mission to do two spacewalks already, and we have three more planned towards the end of this month, so that's, that's a lot. But in general, we only do maybe two per year. Um, that are planned. Now, if something goes wrong outside and we have to go outside to fix something in an emergency, that's a different story, but that, that hasn't happened in a long time. Over. Difficult. Uh, you need a lot of educational and operational background and experience. Um, just to give you some numbers, there's a selection going on right now, and there's 18,000 applicants, and they're going to pick about 10 people. So fortunate that we have a lot of oxygen up here and we have a lot of reserves as well on the outside of the space station that we can pipe into the inside if need be. Over. Wow, I wish I could bring my family and friends up here with me uh, so they can experience what we get to experience in microgravity. It's just phenomenal. Over. Yes, there's a few crew members. Uh, we have a crew of six, and two of us are trained as crew medical officers, so we went through uh, extensive training prior to launch on handling uh, first aid kind of things, as well as, as broken bones and uh, anything major. Thank goodness we haven't had to use any of that yet. Over. Based on the workouts uh, exercise that we do on the space station, physically we're in great shape uh, when we come back. But our inner sense of balance is up for a few days, so that kind of makes you a little wobbly walking just because you don't know uh, what your balance is like. So we'll see how that happens. Everybody's a little bit different. So I'm going to come home in about a month, and I'll be able to answer that question a little better for you then. Over. Well, up here on the space station, we're going around the Earth every 90 minutes. Um, so we get to see a sunrise and a sunset every 45 minutes, which is pretty spectacular. We see 16 of those every day, uh, which is very different, of course, than being on Earth. 